Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss a Street Vendors Act 2014. To regulate a street vendors in public areas and protect their rights, the parliament enacted the Street Vendors Protection of Livelihood and Regulation of a Street Vending Act 2014. However, before discussing the provisions of this act, let us understand first what is all about the Street Vendors Act 2014? An act to protect the rights of urban street vendors and to regulate street vending activities and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Now the question is, what is meaning of a street vendor? As defined in section 2L of this act, a street vendor means a person engaged in vending of articles, goods, wares, food items or merchandise of everyday use or offering services to the general public in a street, lane, sidewalk, footpath, pavement, public park or any other public place or private area from a temporary built up structure or by moving from place to place and includes soccer, peddler, a squatter and all other synonymous terms which may be local or season specific and the words street vending with their grammatical variations and cognate expressions shall be construed accordingly. Now the question is what is meaning of a stationary vendor? As defined in section 2K of this act, a stationary vendors means a street vendors who carry out vending activities on a regular basis at a specific location. Now the question is what is meaning of mobile vendor? As defined in section 2D of this act, mobile vendors means street vendors who carry out vending activities in designated area by moving from one place to another place vending their goods and services. Now the question is what is meaning of vending zone as defined in section 2n of this act. Vending zone means an area or a place or a location designated as such by the local authority on the recommendations of the town vending committee for the specific use by a street vendors for a street vending and includes footpath, sidewalk, pavement, embankment, portions of a street, waiting area or public or any such place considered suitable for vending activities and providing services to the general public. Now the question is what is meaning of natural market as defined in section 2e of this act. Natural market means a market where sellers and buyers have traditionally congregated for the sale and purchase of products or services and has been determined as such by the local authority on the recommendations of the town vending committee. Now the question is what are the provisions for the street vendors? Following are the significant provisions for the street vendors. The town vending committee shall conduct a survey of all existing street vendors within the area under its jurisdiction and subsequent survey shall be carried out at least once in every five years as per section 3.1 of this act. Next, the town vending committee shall ensure that all existing street vendors identified in the survey are accommodated in the vending zones as per section 3.2 of this act. Next, no street vendor shall be evicted or as the case may be relocated till the survey specified 
under subsection 1 has been completed and the certification of vending is issued to all street vendors as per section 33 of this act. Further, as per section 41 of this act, every street vendor identified under the survey carried out under subsection 1 of section 3 who has completed the age of 14 years or such age as may be prescribed by the appropriate government shall be issued a certificate of vending by the town vending committee. Now the question is what are the rights of a street vendors? As defined in section 12 of this act, every street vendor shall have the right to carry on the business of a street vending activities in accordance with the terms and conditions mentioned in the certificate of vending. But note, notwithstanding anything contained in subsection 1, where any area or a space, as the case may be, has been earmarked as no vending zone, no street vendor shall carry out any vending activities in that zone. Now, the question is, what are the duties of a street vendors? Following are the important duties of a street vendors. Where a street vendor occupies a space on a time-sharing basis, he shall remove his goods and wares every day at the end of the time-sharing period allowed to him as per the section 14 of this act. Next, every street vendor shall maintain cleanliness and public hygiene in the vending zones and the adjoining areas as per the section 15 of this act. Next, every street vendor shall maintain civic amenities and public property in the vending zone in good condition and not damage or destroy or cause any damage or destruction to the same as per the section 16 of this act. Last but not the least, every street vendor shall pay such periodic maintenance charges for the civic amenities and facilities provided in the vending zones as may be determined by the local authority as per the section 17 of this act. Further, as defined in section 27 of this act, notwithstanding anything contained in any other law for the time being in force, no street vendor who carries on the street vending activities in accordance with the terms and conditions of his certificate of vending shall be prevented from exercising such rights by any person or police or any other authority exercising powers under any other law for the time being in force. It simply means prevention of harassment by police and other authorities. Now the question is what is penalty if a street vendor violates the rules? As defined in section 28 of this act, if any street vendor indulges in vending activities without a certificate of vending or contravenes the terms of certificate of vending or contravenes any other terms and conditions specified for the purpose of regulating a street vending under this act or any rules or schemes made there under, he shall be liable to a penalty for each such offence which may extend up to rupees 2000 as may be determined by the local authority. So this is all about a Street Vendors Act 2014.